My name is uh, Joe Yojis. I'm with Hanwha Defense USA, and I'm going to give you a little talk about the K9A1 that you see behind me. So, the K9A1 is uh, one of the world's most advanced pieces of self-propelled artillery. It is 155 millimeters. Uh, the gun is 52 calibers, which with the Hanwha charge systems gives it a range of over 40 kilometers with conventional ammunition. The uh, vehicle can hold 48 projectiles and uh, associated charge systems internally, and it can achieve a rate of fire between six and eight rounds each minute. Uh, it's a crew of five, which um, includes the driver and, uh, and, and the loading team. Uh, some systems have a remote operated mount for protection of the vehicle. It can operate a 50 caliber machine gun from inside uh, armor protection. Uh, you can, it has a, um, this thing has road tracks that we're looking at right now. And uh, it weighs about 48 tons. It uh, is engineered for growth. That is to say, uh, you can add some weight onto it because of the power of the engine and uh, the capability of the suspension system. About 1,800 K9s have been delivered or ordered currently. About 1,000 of those are with the Korean Army, and the remainder are with uh, international customers. Here you can see a model of the, uh, of the K9. And behind it, you see the K-10, which is a um, ammunition resupply vehicle. The K-10 essentially contains uh, enough ammunition and propellant uh, to resupply two K-9s. What's significant about the K-9 and K-10 uh, combination is that the entire operation can be done under armor. That is to say, you can do everything up at the firing point when you're under fire. No soldiers have to uh, have to expose themselves to fire. Nobody has to come out of a hatch. Uh, everything can be done uh, right at the firing point just by means of this probe that fits into the, the stern of the K-9.